Nicolette from Nicolette Styles and today I'm going to show you how to create your own labels inside of Canva. These labels are really great to label files in your office. You can label boxes and there's so many ways to label things inside of your office. Pantry items, spice jars. So how do you actually create your labels in Canva? What you need, number one is the scissors. Number two is sticker project paper. So I use these from Avery and I prefer and like the one with the white background, but you can also get the ones with the clear background. Number three, a Canva account. On this specific paper, the dimensions is eight and a half by 11. So what we will do is in Canva is we will select you as letter size, or you can create a custom dimension that's eight and a half by 11. Then you're going to type in the search box borders. A few different options will open up. It's really good to know the function of your label before you create it. Are you creating labels for a magazine box or are you creating labels for filing? Or are you creating labels for a playroom? It's good to know beforehand the color. So what's fun is that for your office you can use your branding colors and if it's your home you can match the label colors to the decor in your house. So once you find the shape that you like and the size, you can spread it out so that you can get more in on one page. You can leave them blank or you can start filling in the information. Examples might be an address label or perhaps you want to label things in your office. What you'll do is you'll go through these until you find options that you like. And once you find the shape and the color, you populate it across and then you copy it and you populate it down. You want to make sure that you leave enough space to get inside of the lines easily with the scissors. Make smaller labels. You can choose to leave them blank so that you can write in yourself what it is that you need. Type in circles to get different circle options. You can also type in label and a few more options will open up. You can also do chalkboard options. So a good color for that chalkboard gray is 393939. And you can also type in chalkboard. So that's just a few easy ways to create a few label ideas inside of Canva in just a few minutes. A few tips that I wanted to share with you is to do a test print first to make sure that you get the size for that specific category or project just right. And then number two is to make sure that you leave enough space so it's easy to maneuver in um, and cut those labels. If you don't love cutting very much, make sure that you don't select a shape with a lot of curves or a lot of cutting. Um, then keep it maybe to the straight and squares. Make sure that you're dividing your labels into categories. So know beforehand if you're creating labels for your pantry or for school or address or your filing system. And remember to only download what you need. So what might end up happening is you might have a few specific pages for different categories. So what you can do is you can go download and be specific about the pages that you want to download only. You can also personalize them inside of Canvas. So if you're creating labels specifically for pets, you can bring in some graphics. You'll have to pay for any elements that you use from Canva. And if you want to test it first, select, select the option download a watermark draft first. Now you can save it or you can choose to print it. Now remember that I said to test. So for me, if I wanted to create address labels, these would be way too big. So now what I do is I go back into Canva. I select all of these. I group them and I just make them smaller. And then you'll be able to ungroup 
and copy and get another label in there. It's good to have this first initial page where you're just playing around with ideas. So now I have my address labeled. If you've printed out like a chalkboard option, you can use a white marker or a chalk marker and write on there permanent markers for the blank ones. For So there's many uses for you to make and create your own labels from your pantry to your office to your kids' rooms. And it's something that's really fun to be able to create and personalize yourself. I hope that this is a handy DIY project and tip for you. And I'd love to see what you create with your labels. If you'd love a copy of the six templates that I created today, then go to cleverwithcanva.com. Label templates will be included in the free Canva resource live. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.